In this art tutorial, I'm gonna show you a brilliant way of making a piece of op art using just a pencil, a piece of paper, and a ruler. And it looks like this, but it's not as complicated to make as it looks. You see, as an art activity, it really builds on that idea that simplicity equals sophistication. And although it looks really complicated when it's finished, if you follow a simple set of rules, it's actually really easy to make. But it's packed full of those skills that we need young people to practice all the time. You're gonna need a ruler, by the way. So to begin, we need a 21 centimeter square piece of paper. Now, regular printer paper is already 21 centimeters on its shortest side. So all you need to do is measure 21 centimeter along the longest side, then cut it. Now, depending on who you are teaching this to, you can either pre-cut this for them or get them to do it. Once cut, we want to divide 21 by three to give us seven centimeter markings along all the sides. This is a great chance to get some measuring math skills into your art activity. Choose one corner of the paper and draw straight lines from that corner to all the other marked points on the opposite sides of the paper. Now that sounds tricky, but it's really obvious when you start drawing. Oh, and remember to always draw to the opposite corner, that's important. Once this is done, turn your paper and do the exact same with all the other corners. Now just choose a segment from one of the corners and shade it in with your pencil. And if you have colour pencils or felt tip pens that also looks good, but I like the metallic shiny look of a pencil. And here's a top tip, put a spare bit of paper under your hand to stop the pencil from smudging. Once shaded, skip a segment then shade the next one. You want to keep a white segment in between so that no two shaded bits touch along their edge. This will seem tricky at first, but it becomes very clear as you do it, especially as each corner is symmetrical. And remember, if you're short of time, which I imagine many of you are, you don't need to do this in one session. What's great is that you can put it down and pick it back up again when the time is right for you. So there's another area of learning that this art activity covers, which is lines of symmetry, because actually if you fold your artwork over and over again, you'll find that each quarter is perfectly symmetrical with each other. I mean, that's another bit of learning from such a simple activity. It's brilliant. And the beauty is that pencils and rulers are really easy to clean. Just line them up and spray them with sterilizer easy. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. If it has, check out the other videos on my channel. There's loads on there. I'm sure they'll be right up your street. Subscribe if you want to. A big thumbs up helps the channel grow and I will see you in the next video.